This is where it means the zombies mean. The next fight that we're going to rate on Boxing Burrows is Earl the Truth Spence. Okay? And I'm going to start this off with Ned. Power. What do you rate <laughs> Earl Spence power? <laughs> Man. For the Walter Reed decision. Forgive me for the last video, Pac-Man. I'm sorry. I, I said what I... Never mind. We're not going <laughs> to... But... Hey! You getting disrespectful? To to I'm standing on my square. I'm on my tombstone, you know? So, I rated <laughs> Earl Spence a 97 after some changes. But, yeah, a 97 for the welterweight division. Power? Yeah, for power. Okay. You know it's you know it's the truth. Oh, my Nothing God. but the truth. That's the best explanation we're going to get from my man. All right. Yes. All right. <laughs> I ain't got to explain Me, What do you rate uh, Earl Spence power? Uh, I I got Earl Spence power at a ninety. You know he uh he did break uh he broke uh special case face in the UK, and I remember when he was fighting Porter. Porter's known for being a running back in the ring, but during that fight, Porter went from a running back to a boxer. So clearly, you know you have to factor in. I think he respected Earl Spence's power. So power at a ninety. Look at that picture. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Trill, what do you give um, Earl Spence power? <laughs> All right, cool. We talk about Earl Spence, Earl the Truth. You know what I'm saying? 26 and 0 with 21 KOs, the IBF, and the WBC champion. Listen, I'm giving him a 95. Look, we're talking about Earl Spence Jr. You know what I'm saying? He had 11 straight stoppages before his fight with Mikey Garcia. And he beat up Mikey really bad. And sometimes, I felt like he was playing with Mike. You know what I'm saying? He dropped Sean Porter. You know what I'm saying? He stopped Chris Van Heerden. Um, he also, and he who hasn't lost since he fought Earl, so we'd like to talk about people's uh, resumes and stuff. He dropped Chris Van Heerden, who hasn't lost since. He um, dr uh, he stopped um, former title holder Chris Algeri. Um, uh, Bundu, he stopped him. He stopped Cal Brook. He stopped Lamar Peterson. He KO'd... Um, Old Compass, who hasn't lost since Eva. You know what I'm saying? The boy can he can he can punch. The boy got some power. I gave Earl a 95. G, what'd you give Earl? A 90. <clears throat> All right. All right. 90. All right, cool. Because I threw my score in there. I gave him a 93. Basically, I think uh Earl Spence has popped for all the reasons that Trill stated. Um I don't necessarily think he's he hits harder than Manny Pacquiao, though. Um, but I do think that his his punch is up there. Slightly under, but, you know, like Trill said, he, he stopped uh, Kel Brook. He dropped Sean Porter. And Sean Porter's a durable guy. Um, mm -hmm. He was dropped by Brona, and he was dropped by uh, Spence. When Spence dropped him, it looked like, you know, it was worse like than when Brona dropped him. So, you know, you got to give, give it to him. He has pop. So. We'll average out the score for Earl Spence Power, which will come to 94. Speed for Earl the True Spence. Ned, what do you got? I gave him 98. Bro, I got to hate truth. this dude, man. And nothing it's but the truth. truth. Uh, it's on. the truth and nothing but the truth. All right, man. Wait, what did you give me in Pacquiao? For, what did you give me in Pacquiao for speed? 97. This dude's crazy. The truth. Man. I'm telling you, man. And nothing but the truth. I'm you, man. All right, so I, I, I throw in a towel on this score, G. I do, too. I, without question. Without Trill, 98 speed for Earl Spence. <laughs> Yo, I just don't agree with it. G, what do you, what do you rate Earl Spence speed? I gave him an 80, right? And the reason why is because, yo, he, he's decent. His speed is, is decent in that level. However, he's, he's not as fast as Mayweather. He's not as fast as Pacquiao. He's not, he's, he's not even as fast as, like, a man Khan when it comes to the speed. So it's like I, I don't even understand how you could give him a 98. I feel like now you just, you just fluffing numbers, man. So, yeah, I have to be real. Like, I, although I, 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 I attribute his, his power is what – takes dudes out. His speed is okay. So I had to give him an 80 for speed. 
All right, true. I mean, well, I didn't go up to a 98, but I didn't go as low as the 80 either. Because Earl is surprisingly speed. I don't know if some of that speed has something to do with turning, but when Earl, he starts throwing combinations, his combinations are fast. Maybe getting to the person is a little slow, but once he starts firing them off, I think he's like a tricky type of fast. I wouldn't say he's like elite level Pacquiao fast, but he he ain't like the slowest guy in the division. I was like you know what saying, saying that uh, his speed is deceptive. Yeah, that's what I think a little bit. I think his, his speed is deceptive a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I give Arrow a 90. I will say this, though. The way he throws his hooks to the body are pretty fast. Yeah. But I'm not giving him no 98. You know what I'm saying? No, I ain't giving him no 98. <laughs> so Trill said Earl Spence speed is deceptive. And he's right. I agree. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I gave uh, Earl Spence the 89 for speed. So now the question is, Trill, mm -hmm. you think G's number's too low? Oh, uh, come on, fellas. Me, I'm not going to do this. No, 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 G, 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 G. I, I I get it. I just thought I thought I thought Ned was a little too high. And I thought yours was a little too low. I can see yours be like eighty five was it would be good. You know what I'm saying? But an eighty. <laughs> so I I don't know because his number's so low and Ned's number was so high. And we Maybe he'll balance it out. And we threw out Ned's number. That's what I'm getting at because. Because I knew he was going to come with the hate. I got me in the net boat. This is crazy, son. I knew he was going to come with the hate. You stay. Add net. Earl Add net zip. 80, bro. Like an Add well, net zip and, and add G's in and factor it out. That's what I was saying. Who? So who do you think is faster than Earl Spence? Mayweather's faster. Pacquiao's faster. Mayweather don't uh, fight no more. That yeah, well, he's coming back. So Amir Khan's faster. Um, I even think Keith Thurman's jab is faster than uh, Earl Spence's jab. You know, I, I I don't disagree that those guys are faster. But you think that they're so much faster than Earl Spence? Like so much? No. But I right. I'm willing to, to beef up my number to an 85. But that's the highest I'll go. I agree with that. Um, All right. So if y'all will allow me to beef up my number, pardon me, I'll I'll raise it to 85. And I'll drop my number to 95. I think that 85 <laughs> is dead. We don't want your number, Dad. I'm not giving you your number. Hey, I'm not giving me a chance. <laughs> opportunity. What's your number? Eight, I go 95. The 85 so, is dead. So I was 100. I was like, what? <laughs> now, wild dude, man, for real. Ned just like him. <laughs> he, he said he faster than Pacquiao, bro. Wow. That is just crazy. Oh, <laughs> All right. Um, stamina, Earl Spence. Ned. Man, yo, the truth is the truth when I'm standing on the 99. That's it. No, the I ain't got to say oh. nothing. The yo, truth. Yo, bro, this is. Yo, you can't do this, man. <laughs> Now nah, you yeah. trolling, bro. Don't troll, man. Yeah, like, you ain't trolling. Nah, he's trolling. He's trolling. I can see in his face. He's trolling. Yeah. Nah. You know why? Hold on. I'm going to jump right in here, and I'm just going to say I gave him 100 on stamina. When have you ever seen Earl gas? When have you ever seen him? <sighs> I seen him dancing in the fight with Sean. When after the toughest fight, after the toughest round, he started doing the tough stuff. That, huge, that, that Texas dance in the corner. Let's go, Trails. You know right. what I'm saying? Hold on, but your I trail. Dance in the the corner. Corner. I don't know what dance you, that was. But. You fact <laughs> that. <laughs> you fact that. <laughs> Pardon me? When when y'all um when y'all do y'all stamina score, do y'all uh, mm -hmm. factor in like the punch output? Like yeah, I I, I look around. at it how he he consistently his consistent he doesn't throw out a lot, but when he does throw, he he he's 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 economical with his shots. Like he don't waste shots. Me and you, we see eye to eye on this. It's just mm -hmm. the way you score is different. But that's what I yeah. like. That's my explanation behind his stamina score. I okay. give him an eighty-five for that. You know, because in the later rounds, you see him not throw as much, 
but when he throws, they matter. And so the power never fades. So yeah. I was like, you know, his I'm power. not going to fault him for that, though, that he doesn't have to throw as much to cause um, much, a lot of damage. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to hold that for, uh, against him. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's, it, it, he, could, he constantly puts on the same pressure. And you never see him, like, uh, get gassed. Even with the fight with Mikey, he constantly puts on the same pressure. Even with Sean. Should we seen Sean fight better than we ever seen Sean fight before. I hated the way Sean Portis fights. You know what I'm saying? But I thought he fought great against um, Earl this time around. Yeah. Earl, I just never seen him seen him gas a tie. Even after all those people be saying he be drinking and partying, it hasn't caught it hasn't caught up to him yet. It hasn't caught up to him yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So everybody's giving their explanation. G, you said you gave him 85. Yo, man, Trill, Trill made some good points, man. Actually, you know what? I gave him ninety. Um, I don't think he, I don't think he did a good job uh, with your explanation. I'm, I'm, I'm debating. Should I change my? Thank story? you, bro. Yeah. So I, so I gave him a ninety. The reason why I gave him a ninety is because I've never seen the punch output from him that I think would require a hundred. So for me, for example, a hundred is someone who throws a certain amount of punches per round. Mm -hmm. Um. And like you said, it doesn't mean he can't do it, but I've never seen him do it. But I've seen him in certain rounds do it. And in the Porter fight, I felt like he needed to be more active, but he wasn't. Um, and he was able to eke it out. But I had uh, Sean Porter winning until he dropped Sean Porter. Um, so I think he has good stamina. I don't think 90s the score saying that his stamina is bad. I'm saying I haven't seen elite stamina from him yet. So rating... 100 would mean he's elite stamina. So my score is based on the fact that I haven't seen the fight from Earl Spence where I'm like, yo, his stamina is like up there. It's elite. So that's why I give him a 90. But it's possible he has it, but I can't rate what I don't see. Just like I can't deduct, like I can't say he I, has it. I mean, for me, seeing that he never got gas and seeing that he keeps coming forward, throwing the same amount of number of points, even though he hasn't throw crazier numbers, He's seeing him throw his his same level of punches that he has thrown and seeing my homie dance. You know what I'm saying? After a grueling fight, seeing him dance in the 11th round, having energy still moving around, man. That's why I was giving it to him. But I can see, I can see your point. You no, I respect, I respect your point. But like you, like you said, I, I respect that. For me, I have to see it to rate it that way. Mm -hmm. But but to me, 90s great stamina. Like I've i I've never seen him gassed. I've never seen him look like, you know. Oh man, was he even training for this fight? I've never seen that from him. But I just never seen that fight where it was like, yo, Spence stamina is crazy. That's why I can't, can't rate it 100. That's why I'm saying that's why I can't rate it 100. But, you know, I think. So we're going to leave it like this and okay. average it out. All right, cool. All right, that comes to 94 for stamina. Chin, Ned, what do you rate Earl Spence Chin? The truth, Chin never folds. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it a 99. And that's the truth. And nothing but the truth. <laughs> Yo, you know what you're doing, Ned? Yo, you remind Yo, me of me when I be trolling Caden. You know what I mean? When we be talking about why, I'm like, I ain't trying to hear nothing. Right hand of God. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You just, oh, <laughs> no, he's, he's fanboying the way you be fanboying. You don't be trolling. You be fanboying, and now he's fanboying. Nah, I definitely troll. I actually I don't, don't think he's fanboying. Not on this one. Not on this one. Not on this one. Not on this one. Because I, I give, I give, I give. Earl a uh, hundred on the chin. I ain't never seen him rock yet, hurt, staggered, nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yet so far, the boy has showed a stellar chin. You know what I'm saying? Except for against that Ferrari. Yo, Trill, you stole my answer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> was like, yo, the only time you ever broke his jaw was from a car that was moving 100 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say nothing about the car, so they might sound a little hard. It took, <laughs> took horsepower. 
It took horsepower to break his jaw. It took horsepower to knock out him. You know what I mean? Like, yo, this is, this is it was horsepower. Hey, horsepower. And he still recovered. <laughs> it was like a Scooby snap. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, G, G, what you rate that power? Oh, I gave this shit a 95. I gave him a 95. 95? Yeah. So I rated this chin 100. Yeah, and I ain't even mad at the 100. Honestly, I was debating should I give it a 100, but I was like, I got to stay consistent with my scoring, so that's the only reason <laughs> why I didn't do it. But I agree with y'all. 100 is all aboard. <laughs> it, it takes horsepower to break his jaw. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's what we have. Comes to a total of 99 for the chin. Footwork, Earl Spence. Ned, what you got? I gave my boy Spence footwork a 99. It's the truth. Hi, bro. The truth. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm telling you, he's strolling. You giving 99s for everything? Nah, yeah, I didn't. Nah, nah. Nah, I didn't. Well, all right. All right. How are you going to defend it? You got to defend it, though. Can you defend it, Ned? Why, why, why are you giving him a 99 for his footwork? Because I can rock with it if you can defend it. You know what? We'll go back. We'll go back to him. All right. Give me some chance. Chance. What do you mean right. for his footwork? For me or G? Isn't G going next right now? I think it was me. Yeah, it's true. All right, Troy, what you give us for? I'm going to jump out the window. I'm going to give his footwork a 95. I'm going to explain why. Because I see people try to box against um, uh, Earl Spence, like Chris mm -hmm. Algeri. That's what he do. He box. He ain't going to stand around. He uses the whole ring. And I, the way I see um, Earl cut off the ring with certain fighters, the way I see him cut off the ring with Mikey, I mean, Mikey is the king of angles. You know what I'm saying? The way I see him do that with Mikey, um, listen, the way he was moving, even against the football player, I thought the football player had better footwork than him. You know what I'm saying? But he showed that he can, he can, he's up there with the football player in the footwork. So that's why I gave him a 95. He ain't tripping over himself in there. Ned, that's what you should have said. Thank you. That's the All truth. right, G. All right, you see, I agree with Trill, but I gave him a 90 for footwork. For those two fights in particular, the Sean Porter fight and the um the Mikey Garcia fight. Especially the Mikey Garcia fight. I know he took a lot of slack from a lot of boxing fans, like, oh, you should have went for the knockout, the center. But to me, he utilized the sweet science. And he showed like it doesn't matter who I'm against, whether they're traditional boxers or if they're they're heavy hitter brawlers. I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna show you how to do it with utilizing footwork. So I gave Earl Spence a 90. Oh. All right, so my score for Earl Spence is 90. So I docked him 10 points. And here's the reason why I docked him 10 points. Well, his score is that high because he did show great footwork in some fights, like Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia is also smaller than him. Um, and then he showed decent footwork against Chris Algieri. But then there were times where he showed that he didn't have the elite footwork, the best footwork, the top end footwork against guys like Kel Brook and against um, Sean Porter. So Sean Porter was able to switch angles on him. Sean Porter was able to do a number of things to him. Like, I think if you watch that fight, you can't say that Earl Spitz has better footwork than Sean Porter. So, no, I, no, can't, no. so I can't he, rate him. He was hanging with him. He was, but I'm not saying, I'm not saying that he wasn't. That I don't think 90's bad. Like, it's just not elite. I think Sean Porter's foot works better than his. I think me Pacquiao's I think 90, I think 90 and up is elite. I think y'all be over 90 to be elite. I think 90, you can hang with elite. But okay. I think, like, I, I think you're above average, close to elite. But I think above 90 is elite. So... I don't think he's, his foot works better than Sean Porter's. I don't think his foot works better than Manny Pacquiao's. I don't think his foot works better than Keith Thurman's. He could get to those guys, though, and that's why I gave him a 90. So I'm not, you know, I'm not judging him harshly. I think that's a fair assessment of it. I docked him 10 points for that reason. He can get to those guys, but I think he's going to have to work to get to those guys because they're – Yeah, it's fair. Yeah. Totally agree. It's fair. Um, all right. Average it out. Oh, Ned, you you, you got to tell us why you why are you giving him that ninety nine? 
Y'all said why he should get a 99. Oh, For me to say, <laughs> yeah. I think what y'all said. Yo, Ned, like, you start, it's you start, 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 you Man, don't don't ever compromise integrity, bro. Remember Never. that. Man. Never. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen that fanboy, like on in the history of this show, yo. Nah, Spence, my guy, yo. I gotta give him. Oh, uh, got a fanboy. I know. I see. <sighs> and I'm not even. I'm not even saying because Trill's giving him high scores, but he's following up with logic. And, and, and trail scores and are always scores are not as high as yours either. <laughs> You're just like 99 because dog. Because I know, always give people generous <laughs> scores. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, nah, nah. Yo, dog. Yo, dog. <laughs> I even gave Chishura some high school. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Yo, Ned, come on, Yo, bro. Yeah, I don't know, Ned. Yeah. Do you? I want I want you to do you and be you, but gee, yeah. you you doing you a real. lot. Of a lot of, you know, suspects. I had to nerf some of my scores, so... Hard, uh, hard. My scaling heart. system had to change, so my scaling system is just a little high right heart. now. Heart. heart. How do you rate his heart? What do you rate his heart? Me? Yeah. You already know his heart. We gonna agree with you. The truth? <laughs> that heart is 100, man. Look, you heard... Let me explain why. The boy flew out of the car in, what, October? And he was ready to fight in June. He said, I, I, no, he said, I, I, he said I could take I, a fight in January. I, 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 I could give it a hundred. That boy I, 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 got a hundred for her. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You know what? Salute to you, finally. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, true. A hundred. A hundred. All right. 100. G? I gave him a 95. And the reason why... Again, he fought Porter, he fought Mikey, he fought Brooke. And remember, he fought Kel Brook in the UK. And on top of that, you got to give him respect for even fighting Lamont Peterson and Chris Algieri. These ain't like, I know people don't really mention these two names when they're talking about the welterweight division, but those dudes are elite class as well. So he's consistent with fighting the top dogs, you know? And so because of that, his heart is without question, 95. He went in there to beat up these guys. <laughs> yeah, I will say this though. I would have gave him a hundred if he said, you know what, yo, uh Al, yo, rip up my contract. I'm going over to ESPN to body bag TC. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm like, all right, this dude crazy. A hundred for heart, you know. All right, so 95. The reason why I'm giving him 95. Well, I'll start with this. All the reasons you stated, and you left out one thing. And he was going to fight Danny Garcia next before the car accident. Big facts, big facts. <laughs> so that, that shows you where his heart's at. Mm -hmm. I'm deducting five points for one reason. I don't want to get into whose fault it is, but the Terrence Crawford fight hasn't happened yet. Exactly. And he was in front of Terrence Crawford, and Terrence Crawford was saying, let's make the fight happen. And he said, why would I do that when I got to beat up Sean, well, I could beat up Sean Porter first? Now, I do understand that this is a business, so I'm not saying he's afraid. I'm not saying he didn't want to fight him. I'm saying the fight hasn't been made. There's no real talks about the fight being made. So I'm going to duck five from him, and you'll see I'm consistent about this. So I, I'd, I'd, like for, I'd like to hear that fight's going to be made, but there's no doubt his heart is without – it can't be questioned, and he's fought. Yeah. I think he, he said that because – with the whole Sean and being able to unify, and it was most easier fight to be made because they were both on the same side of the street. No, I agree. So I, I agree just, with you on the heart. Yeah, I just feel like I these guys should be fighting each other. Yeah, yeah I don't want to disadvise guys from not for not fighting each other. You know, mm -hmm. just like I don't want to keep giving rounds to people who loop around the ring three or four times before one exchange. Like that's not, that's not boxing to me. So I, I don't. We're not, we're not rating Keith Thurman right now. 
The narrating <laughs> keep through. <laughs> I understand. Yeah, but yo, I but this is why I agree one thousand with what Caden is saying because I, I scored it the same way. I would have gave him a hundred, you know, but I don't know what's behind the scenes between the Spence and TC fight. I don't know if it's on, uh, you know, Spence's end. I don't know if it's on Crawford's end. All I know is the fight hasn't happened. And so because of that, I don't feel comfortable giving either men hundreds, you know, so I have to deduct points just to be on the safe side. All right. We're at Boxing IQ. That's the last thing for Earl. Ned, do I even need to ask? I gave him 97. The truth. <laughs> The truth, I just got to see how the truth bounced back from his, his, his little... I was expecting you to stay at 100. I was going to give it it. I, I, you can't you can't fault the truth, but, you know, you got to see how it gets back in the ring after that accident, man. What does that have to do he with... He don't want no tuna. Oh, he guy, want he want to fight TC. Yo, your explanation is flawed, man. How is it flawed? He's what been out the ring. What accident have to do with boxing IQ? You say he might have lost some of his uh, knowledge of brain cells. <laughs> <that shit. laughs> hey, he man, listen. He forgot how to fight. He forgot how to fight. He forgot how to fight. You know, we may not move the same, yo. I don't yeah, know how to get so that. He's going to walk in that ring and realize he forgot how to fight. That's what's going to happen. Right? Man, I, 97. <laughs> nah, I ain't saying he, 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 he brain dead. I'm just saying he might, like, you know. Slip a little slow. Whatever, I'll leave a ninety-seven for Ned. Uh, Trill, what do you what do you got? Boxing IQ. I got I got the boxing IQ as a ninety. You know what I'm saying? I have his boxing IQ as a ninety. Earl, it's we forget how young this guy is. You know what I'm saying? I know we 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 criticize him for for things because we got to make up things to criticize this kid for because he's been so stellar. But um, listen, he's still um. Learning, he's still learning, he's still young. You know what I'm saying? Um, look, he only got 26 professional fights in. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I give him a 90 on that. And there's a lot of little things that um that he does in there. Like we mentioned, you know, uh, uh the uh, footwork against people like Sean Porter, who's a, a professional football player, and um also Cal Brook, who's also a professional football player. Those got skills though. Uh, you know you making me they sound like skills. boxing bros UK out here, man. Listen, Cal yeah. Brooks got skills, man. No, no, I said with with, with Cal Brooks, who also has put uh, um, who's an athlete with good uh, footwork. You know what I'm saying? Not comparing them oh. to the, these guys. You say, you know I'm saying? Together, these dudes play for the NFL. That's crazy. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think the way Sean, he's is that their footwork is so good. Yeah, they full oh, is so as a good. Compliment. Got you, got you. Yeah, as a compliment. They both play football. Different sport, but they both play football. You so dig Cal what I'm Brooks saying? Play soccer football while yeah. Porter plays. Hey, in the American UK, they football. call it football in the UK. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but um, against these guys, I, would, I wish they you. They also call a cigarette in the UK. Oh, okay, but you can't. <laughs> I know, and then you ask the bum, right? Can you bum a. So yeah, I give him his IQ of ninety. He's still um learning in there. He's still a young guy, man. Twenty six fights. All right, G. Oh, that's crazy. I also gave him a ninety, and the reason why is because you can say what you want about Earl Spence, whether he fights a job, brawler, girl. exactly, whether he fights a brawler or a boxer, nobody has taken him out. So clearly. That IQ was up there, you know, and he always finds a way. The number one thing I always notice about um, Spence, he always finds a way to tap that body, you know. Like, when he hits you with them body shots, it don't matter who you are, you're going to feel it. And so he always finds a way to sneak one in there, even if he fights a guy that, like, for example, I think Kel Brook has a higher boxing IQ than Earl Spence. But he still finds a way to take uh, Kel Brook out of there. So, you know, you got to respect um, his ability in that ring. So, 90 for Boxing IQ. Boxing IQ. I gave him a 95. I think uh, Earl Spence makes adjustments. I think I think when he's in there, he's studying his opponent. I think that's how he was able to land the left hook against Sean Porter. If you look at the Kell Brook fight, Earl Spence was losing the earlier rounds. At least I was giving the earlier rounds to Kell Brook. That's mm -hmm. when he made the adjustments and started the body work. He started to uh, break 
Kell Brook down, and that's when he got Kell Brook out of there. When I was watching the first few rounds, I was like, man, Special K, like, you know, he going to deliver that chocolate brownie it's looking like, you know. <laughs> but um, Earl turned the tide. And to me, that's IQ. That's making adjustments. That's seeing what your opponent has and figuring out what tools you have that can counteract what your opponent's doing in the ring. And so even Mikey Garcia, everyone expected him to walk through him. He said, you know what, I'm going to give him a boxing lesson. So I think his boxing IQ is a lot higher than people think. And also, he gave Floyd that black eye. So <laughs> he was able to land a shot on Floyd that a lot of people weren't able to land. So you got to give him props on that uh, IQ. So that's why I gave him a 95. So that totals a 93. And now let's get the overall for Earl the Truth Spitz. One hundred. <laughs> we know that's what you would rate on. <laughs> All right, Earl Spence overall ninety four. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Watching that tree, TC like Wilder. One. Uh, no, he gets a one. He gets a one. TC. Yeah, he, he, I don't know. We'll see what he does with T. Can't do that. Can't, we got. I'm gonna see I'm gonna keep my my towel ready for that. <laughs> Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Also check out our podcast on all major streaming services. Please follow the links in the description box and check us out. Please comment. Feel free. Say whatever you want. It's the Boxing Bros. We finish, finish, like we